Hey guys and welcome back to Her Cooking Addiction. Today I want to show you one of the meals that I'm going to be prepping for the week. Um, it's called hoisin beef with cabbage and sriracha. And it's really simple to make, very quick, so let's get started. Alright, so on a medium sized pan I got the whites from the, the green scallions. There's a few green pieces in there. And I added about a tablespoon of chopped ginger since ginger does take a little bit of time to cook. So I'm going to let that cook for about 4 minutes, maybe even 5. And I also got about 3 fourths of a cup of jasmine rice cooking right there. Alright, I know I said beef earlier. I'm actually using ground bison, so this is 90% um, lean, 10% fat. So I'm going to let this cook about 3 fourths of the way. And um, once it's cooked about 3 fourths of the way, then I'm going to add the rest of uh, my seasonings here. So I used about 3 fourths of the package, and the rest of it I'm just going to cook it up real plain and give it to my dog so he can try some. Alright, so I'm going to add two tablespoons of light soy sauce, four tablespoons of the hoisin sauce, about five tablespoons of the rice vinegar. Yep, and I'm gonna go ahead and add that to my meat. And I am gonna add a pinch of salt. You can always taste it um, before adding the salt to see if it actually needs more. So now that my meat is cooked all the way, I added three cloves of freshly chopped garlic here. So I'm gonna get that mixed in. Um, if that, if garlic is too strong for you, you can always add two cloves. So I'm gonna get that mixed in, cook it for about a minute before I add my bag of coleslaw. All right, so I did turn the heat down here a little bit and I put about half the bag of coleslaw, which came out to be about four ounces. I'm gonna let this cook for about two to three minutes. I don't want the coleslaw to get completely wilted. I still want it to be a little bit crunchy, which is why we're not gonna be cooking it too long. All right, guys, I am done with my dish and I packed it in two containers. So this is gonna last me for two meals. And honestly, that was quite a bit of rice. So I'll probably cut back on the rice next time whenever I pack it. Um, it also depends how hungry I am at lunchtime because tomorrow is leg day with a little bit of cardio. This is how it came out. And I did not add any extra sriracha because I felt like the salt level was just fine. So I added a little bit of crushed pepper and topped it off with some green onions. You can add cilantro, maybe just a little bit of lime. It already has a little bit of that tanginess from the sauce. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give a like and subscribe. See you guys.